is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it'd be fun to do something very simple and easy. Um, at first I had the idea of an accordion journal which I've done before. Um, this is also you know somewhat of an accordion journal when you think about it. Um, but and I started it but before I go oh that's my cat. <laughs> <laughs> she missed me uh, but before I keep I go any further I want to show you what I've done so far and then I want to keep the decoration as simple as possible there will be some stitching like sewing but you can always glue same thing um, but I don't want to complicate things I want this to be a very sweet easy beautiful journal so we'll see where this takes us so first what I want to show you is this um, is like these right here they're the Tim Holtz paper pads a 12 by 12 and at the end of each um, pad he usually has a smaller replica of all the pages that you find in your paper pad so I had these two and I thought they were so beautiful I need needed to do something with them so what I've decided to do is I decided to fold them and make some sort of an accordion journal but, and then I was going to like glue this, like if you will, like this, you know, maybe with a fabric binding or something. Then I thought of maybe gluing them together back to back and then you would just flip the journal. And then what I've decided, and that's where I stopped and started uh, recording, is this I want to be the front. So I will fold it. And then I thought the back, like this was the back, the last piece of paper, I decided to put both strip of papers like this and I took the last part and I sew it and now this will be a pocket so now it's really up to me to decide how this will be folded and I did trim a hairline like a really really tiny little bit just so it folds better once everything is folded so let's say this is my front I fold it this way and then I can decide to keep going like this and then this pocket I can decide where it's going to go it could go like this or it could go like that it really doesn't matter right it's really your choice and probably it will move around whenever you you flip your journal one way or the other each time you use it is what I mean right so right now I'm just going to make sure that the folds are you know solid this there you go yeah I, I see how simple and then you have whoop and see now this just came open and it's fine because this is your journal then we can decorate and then we can turn it around and then decide that you know it's going to go here this time and then you go back now that's the front so let me go a little closer so that's the front you flip you flip you flip you keep flipping up oh, that's the pocket and it opens this way and there you go and now you're back to the front so really so for if I hope I didn't go too fast it's pretty simple two strips of these papers and if it if you don't have these papers this is just 12 inches wide right so uh, an eight and a half by 11 paper that you cut in half and you fold it in even pieces and you do the same you fold them a you know to make an accordion put them on top of one another glue or so to make a pocket and then just decide how you want this to fold right this could be my front and I could have it fold this way it's really up to you once you have these pieces attached you do whatever you want right so I'm going to keep it this way with this like that and like so I think this is really nice I like it this way so I think we're gonna have fun decorating this little journal I've had requests for mini journals and the, the only reason why I hesitate is they're just as much work as a big journal and I'm very hesitant to sell them the same price because they're so tiny but they're just as much work so I think it's why I hesitate because I put a lot of effort and time and then 
I'm thinking, well, I can't sell this for sixty some dollars, you know, Canadian, by the way, um, like I do my big ones, right? But there are a lot of work. It's just a different kind of work, right? So it's not a lot of journaling pages. It's more pockets and and you know. But I'll see. I'll see. I depend on how much work I, I make this one. I set a price. I just named a random price, right? Because some of my journals are less, some are more. It depends on a whole lot of factors. Okay, so let me gather a few things and how about we start just having fun, keeping it simple and decorating. So I'm really, really into the soft things lately. Um, ever since I got my order from um, Tapology, I have been needing, I think, some softness, right? I don't know what it is. There's just, just so much softness in the product, right? I am so in love with everything that's just soft and, and sweet and, and light. I don't know, I'm, I'm in that kind of phase, right? So we have our grunge phases and then we have <laughs> these phases where I want to use only softness and beauty. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> that being said, I am in love with these types of images. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. But there's always a way to do them yourself. So this is really just vellum paper. So if you have beautiful stamps, um, you can easily stamp. And there you go. You have the same thing as what I've just showed you. Personally, I think I'm going to, right from the start, so this is the front of our journal. I think I want to make a, a little tuck spot. I think I'm going to sew it. And I'm going to decorate this first with maybe a rub-on. I have numerous rub-ons. I love, love, love them. So let me find something nice. I just found something that would fit the front because there's roses. And the same thing here. And it's vertical, which is perfect for the idea I just had. Can't believe I found it. As soon as I paused to say, let me find something sweet, I unpaused because this jumped right at me. <laughs> So it's absolutely perfect. I'm very happy about that. So where's my magic tool? Voila. <laughs> okay, so I will rub this on that and then I'll cut the size that I want. And then I'll so oops, it's not gonna be working if I do this. Okay, so you might hear my dryer. It's so funny. I'm going to be known for the lady that does crafts and, and laundry. Every time I film, I'm doing laundry. <laughs> Almost every time anyways. Okay. Okay, so I saved you the part where I go ahead and rub on. Now I'm going to do this. Oh, yes. That is gorgeous. So Perfect. Look how beautiful. This is absolutely sweet. So I will trim it to right about right here. That's big enough. Nice little side tuck like that. Am I straight? Don't look like I'm straight. Okay. Yes. Perfect. And I saw it was a little too um a little too long on each side on each end i should say so a little trimming like that should do it let me see ah oh, perfect uh tiny hair tiny 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 little hairline right here okay i'm going oh i don't think it's straight for some reason and that will bother me Oh my goodness, every time I cut, it's less straight. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to align myself with one of these lines. There. Okay, now it is straight. So I will go ahead and sew this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did. I sewed it in. I had a little problem. That's why there's little tiny little holes, um, because... The thread came off my machine, so I had to try and realign it with the hole. I kind of missed there a tiny bit. <laughs> so now we have a beautiful um, tuck spot right from the start. And we can, you know, I think it makes the front 
interesting right away. I might add something, maybe a piece of fabric later. Um, I'll add things, but for now we're gonna leave it this way and we're going to keep, um, we're gonna keep moving. So for the inside, I should have thought of something and put maybe another pocket while I was sewing on the other side, it would have sewed another pocket here. But it doesn't matter because what I'm going to do instead, because I don't, I don't dislike seeing the sewing sometimes, but this time, this particular today, <laughs> I don't want to see it. So here's my solution. And I think it's going to look just as nice and give more um, space to write into. So I'm thinking, I just want to see if I want this straight or if I want it not straight. I'm trying to figure this out. So I had to pause. So unfortunately, if the my speech doesn't seem to make sense, that's why. So I want to create instead of, like I said, the pocket that I should have sewn. Uh, I just didn't think about it. So what I'm going to do is create a little writing space. And like I said, I don't want this to become, you know, a complicated thing. We're just... You know so far all we did is fold a journal glued or sewed um, the end to make a nice little pocket and now I'm using what I have this was a leftover paper I'm going to glue it right here so this will become we'll still see some of the paper and this will become some writing space with something else I think I'm gonna add this um, it's like a, it's I don't know how to call it it's like it's not washy per se because it's not it doesn't have that translucent quality like you know washy it's kind of see-through um, but there, there are rolls of tapes and I like the fact that like I have this one with this one has writing it's very pretty but it's hard to write over writing so I got this one that I'll show you in a second after I've glued this on so I want us to see you know what the paper was I'm gonna have to trim that a little bit I thought I cut it better but and so yes I really really love it so this you can definitely write on and what I'm going to do is again I'm gonna trim it probably gonna have to trim it again because I can see I, I went a little bit longer than the page but I'd rather longer than you know too short you can't fix too short <laughs> So like that and oh the whole time I'm talking I'm thinking I can't see clearly why is it that I can't see clearly because the glasses are not on my nose okay <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing I did with this paper and I'm just going to tear you know in a very loose way just to add interest and movement and there it goes and this will be a writing space i'm probably maybe gonna put a flower sticker or something there's all kinds we were trying to keep this simple and fun so i can see that this is too long i'm just going to because this is sticky i'm going to mark where i need to cut it and i will trim it right away like so there perfect so these are pre-glued sometimes um, you might have to add some glue but many times they, they glue very nicely but because I have this sewing which will create bumps I think you know what while I'm talking I'm just gonna add glue because I know that the sewing like if this laid flat on another piece of paper then of course it would glue very easily but because it's not going to be going to be completely flat because of this thread um i'm just going to add some glue that's all but usually i wouldn't have to do that there how about this just like that and because the front of the journal is so soft oops hold on because the front of the journal is so soft, I think I will add some sort of flower. I will trim this first because this is not even. Okay. 
there much better I love it um, okay yes how about we get something oh my goodness I really love this but I don't want to do it because I just did it on the other side so let's get something nice and maybe bright you know okay so I thought at first maybe a butterfly but now I found this I think this is beautiful with the green I think it matches there's a tiny bit of kind of pinkish I like it so let's let's put this rub on a, why not I think it will look nice like I said I don't want to complicate this I want us to you know just have fun and I want to give you ideas um, and along the way of decorating this journal of course we might come up with other pockets and flips and such right but we just want to start oh you know what I think I'm going to make it go out of the brown part or the beige like that so it touches the white part too okay so same as earlier I saved you the part where I just do the rubbing oh look at that oh that is nice I think I chose right it, it looks really nice okay perfect so now let's see what we can do for this one okay so I had done this and I want to use it so I'm wondering if it would fit here and how I would make it part of this journal so first let's see if oh my goodness look at that look how beautiful it looks with it okay I gotta find a way to put it in but I don't know what how can I say what part it would play do I glue it on and this disappears because I really think this is also very pretty um however it would be the same effect if i put it here yes see you still see it and this paper not that it's not pretty but it's yellow and i'm not a fan of yellow so i don't feel sad about hiding this and i didn't glue it all so i wanted to make sure that you could still slide pieces of paper so now it serves a double purpose you know what I mean you could still put an ephemera here oh yes let's do that okay I think this is a good idea so what I'm going to do I hold on because as much as I want this to you know so that you're able to slide things do I want it to be like this or do I glue this part and leave this like kind of Pockety or or hmm okay here's what I'm thinking I will glue this this was not meant to be glued so this is going to stay this way but I think I'm going to leave it so that the page becomes a pocket how about we do that for this I will do the double-sided tape though um, so I will glue okay I have I need double-sided tape here I love that this plays a big role now in the front of the journal when everything is folded. And this is just a piece of, you know, like, it's really simple, really look at it. This is, I stamped on this vellum, and then I took this that I had, sewed it, and glued, and sewed everything with this piece of white paper and call it a day. And that's why sometimes I tell you to go down, well, go down, <laughs> mine is in the basement, but go in your studio or on your crafting table, whether it's in the living room, kitchen, it doesn't matter. Just go and craft little pieces and put them away. Look, there's this piece that I crafted. This won't fit in this journal because it's a little too large, but it will fit beautifully in another journal and it's already done. Because when we make journals like the one we're making today, um, it's nice to have a few pieces that were pre-made pre one day where you felt like crafting but didn't have a real project, in, you know, in your head. Um, to have something that's, you know, started, it's already started. Um, it's kind of fun. So right now I'm pretty happy I had this done because I can use it. Just going to press real hard on the double sided tape to make sure it sticks there. 
yes there see now this becomes I could have glued it completely I don't know I might do so I'll decide after if it's worth leaving it this way because I I also don't want to take the chance that the whole pocket comes uh, you know undone so let me see so now we could put this here I could also sew it you know I don't know and this is still also open like that so you know it's pretty nice this is a little long I would maybe trim it I, I'm not sure what I wish you could tell me what you know what this is a little tight I'm afraid this will get damaged I'm gonna glue it shut I um, I like to have pockets everywhere I can but not everything has to become a pocket so I can feel this will all get damaged with time so instead how about we just make it the journal page itself it's that's the way there because even this I feel with time if people are not careful it will you know rip yeah I don't know but I do like that it's open at the same time so I'll leave it this way for now it's not like I have to make a decision right this moment um, but there it is so I think this is beautiful and when you close the journal I don't know if you like me but I like that things come out so I will make more clearly because this is absolutely lovely okay let's think of something else okay I just had an idea I have these that I purchased again from Taper Lodge. I wish there was more I think I'm gonna I wish I had something to cut these myself but I don't I just had an idea how about I sew right here so that these can be moved okay and I'll create something beautiful like so I will sew this to that but first I think I will make a pocket this is just an image that I I stamped I uh, no, printed I printed on vellum I think it's lovely so I want to do this so hold on I know I seem confused I know where I'm going <laughs> just hold on for the ride you'll be fine <laughs> I'm just going to trim this off right here and then right here do I see the line hold on I really made them really light here so I well where's the line okay I see it right here and I love printing on vellum I think it's it's beautiful oh, it's exactly like those images that I've showed you right so sometimes you can stamp uh, or you can print there oh is it even I think it is okay so if I go like that this will become a nice pocket I will round the the corners though because this is rounded and it will look a little strange or out of place or um, when you want to do anything with vellum always put a paper underneath because vellum will fold instead of cutting it will just fold okay well this has to be a squarish as well hold on a straight line yeah it will just fold and then it's a little frustrating because you know you're trying to do something it doesn't work so that's what I do I, I put another paper underneath and then it's rounded otherwise it's sometimes I'll show you now of course I'm showing you and it probably work but any of you who've worked with of course it did okay let's try it without but a lot of times I've tried and it didn't work oh well today it, it kind of works <laughs> sometimes it has a little tendency to bend like especially if you want to make a little notch to show the um, entrance of a pocket I've, I've realized sometimes the paper will bend maybe this cutter is good but my circle punch will bend the paper or make a white line and then you kind of ruined your piece right so usually I play it safe and I put a piece of regular paper underneath oh look at that that is lovely that is really sweet I like it now I'm wondering do I glue this or will I just go ahead and sew it I think I will sew it I'm afraid the glue will show so let me try not ruin this piece and I'll be right back 
okay it went well and I didn't ruin the piece I think it's absolutely adorable oh my goodness it fits everything in the journal so now as I've explained I want to sew it right here so that's gonna be well I want to make sure I don't you know ruin it because I want this to be still uh, what is it the word mobile or moving I just want to decide where I want it at the lower part yeah I think it's nice because you can see that and I like that the red kind of you know reflects there but this is also nice though right there in the middle um, hmm no I'll put it I don't know I'll be right back I'll show you what I've decided <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and sewed it in the middle. I'm just going to trim a tiny bit of this. I do like some thread, but just not too, too much. Let me see on the other side. Oh, I think it's going to be really lovely. I think this is going to turn out to be a very delicate journal, a whole lot of, of nice, you know, flips and surprises. So this is our front as we decided. And already I think this is lovely that it's coming out like that and of course we'll be able to you know put something like that right from the start and um, like I said I'm not done I might add something I'm thinking maybe a little eyelet very very delicate so we can pass a little ribbon and use it as a closure I'm unsure and then we have this so writing space and see writing space writing space I love that this is a nice sweet little pocket let me find a little uh, piece of paper that will fit to show you that this becomes a little pocket to put another little you know ephemera in the writing space oh i love it love 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 it and this i think should serve as a window so we must put something right here now what will we choose okay so i think i found something sweet um, and I know many of you, by the way, have like uh, crickets or um, what is it, uh, Big Shot? Um, I have the Sidekick. Um, if I had the die, this would be the perfect size from my Sidekick, but I don't. Um, so here what I found. I think this would be lovely because when you flip, you know what I mean? Look, it fits perfectly. So I will glue this on right now. I think this is... This is perfect, actually. Whoops, my double-sided tape stuck somewhere. Hold on, okay. I think this will be absolutely lovely. Like this. And like that. Mm right here and you'll see I like to have little hidden spots those doesn't have to be big ones just enough to be able to slide a little surprise in there so <clears throat> so I want to make sure I'm aligned with um, the window There, I think this is absolutely lovely. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Look, very delicate. And then, when you open it, let me find a little ephemera, something nice and small that we could put um, in that little space that we just created. I'm just looking for something here. Okay, I found these. It's just to show you, right? Because this technically is a sticker. But look, now it has a little hidden space right here. See? Another little surprise. Why not? Oh, I'm loving this. Yes, this is becoming very lovely. We could do something here. Let me think of something. Um, okay, I found this piece of fabric. And I'm thinking, how about we stamp numbers or something? Something with numbers, I feel. I was going to stamp like leaves, but I feel it's too much of, you know, flowers and such. So I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe something, I don't know, something with numbers and, oh, 
This would be nice. Oh, how about both? I don't know. That would be nice. Right there on the piece of fabric. Let me see. That would be pretty nice. Or just one of them. Hmm. No, I think it needs a variation of circle and something like that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So first I will stamp on the fabric. That way, if you know, it doesn't turn out right. It won't be glued to my journal already. So I just need to choose the colors. Um, okay, I'm not sure. So I think I'm going to go with the espresso truffle for this. I usually try and, and do like these, especially the middle red and the outer edge blue or something like that. I'm not sure it would fit this. So I'm just going to go conservative for now. For this piece anyways. I'm going to go like this. Yes, and so this will be this way. Maybe some red for this or blue. Maybe just blue. Like I said, I don't want to add too much color because I don't know. I have a feeling it would be great. I also have olive. Um, no, I'll go with blue. I think I'll stick with that idea. I think I think that works okay I love these little little memento ink I have them linked in my description box if you ever want to check them out oh yeah look that's really nice it adds a little more interest so I will cut this a little longer oh I should have left it even longer oh well it doesn't matter and I will make sure it's like you know old there perfect and now I think I will glue this just like that I think it's really nice okay where's my glue right here actually I'm just gonna put glue here there perfect Yes, I think this is very, very lovely. I hope I'm giving you ideas. Because this is starting to really be interesting. Like I this is not probably not the ephemera I'm gonna I'm going to put there because I think it's too dark. It's just to show you, right? Um I will choose something a little softer for the first page. But yeah, I really, really like it. I had just remembered that I was trying out things and making seals on fabric uh, to have pieces ready. And I'm thinking a very tiny little belly band with this together could be quite lovely. So I'm thinking that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I will cut this like that. Hmm. Yeah, like this. Maybe a little closer on this side. And then, I'm just going to move this, whoops. And then I will attach this just like that. And these, this part right here will be the part that becomes the belly band. I think this is very sweet. I think it matches perfectly this page so how about we do just that so I will apply glue here mm -hmm. there you go like that Oops. and I will glue this right there on the fabric like that and then I will trim a tiny bit but not completely um like i've mentioned earlier i like that things you know come out of the journal i think it really adds a lot of interest so i will go like this and now i'm trying to figure out if i'm going to sew 
the belly band or just glue it on top and bottom this is the only thing I'm wondering about I think I'll have to trim it again a tiny bit um why don't I just sew it okay so I sewed it I think it's you know because we we've done a lot of sewing so far but please remember if you don't have a sewing machine you can always just glue it it's just I, I just so happen to have one right so I will use it but yeah you could also just glue it it'll be just as beautiful just gonna get rid of a tiny bit of the excess thread I do love th thread hanging but it's a tiny bit too much um, oops see here there okay oh yes this is lovely then we could put just trying to find a little something now this is cute but it doesn't fit I just want to show you there now we have a belly band I will put something else because that little cutie dressed as a witch is very cute but does not fit what I'm doing today I found the perfect perfect size ephemera <laughs> there isn't that lovely and it was so simple it was so so very simple look at that oops I'm going to you know what I think I will leave you on this for today because we have let me find something for the front okay so I have this this is really pretty or I have this as well again with roses I could put it this way every both of them are really beautiful so yes so we did this and then we did that and then this here with a little pocket you know I hope what I'm what I'm showing you is a different way to see what you have right it's really all about that when you think about it it's a different way to see what you have and you try them on the page you move things around like you know this is supposed to be a piece on its own that's folded and then you put a picture there I just decided to sew it right there you know and create a pocket with it and some kind of a picture frame for the flower here it's really all about seeing things in a different way you know so right now we did the this much I think I we need to pause and stop this video and then the next video I will do the other side of the journal and add on the pages where we didn't add anything like maybe maybe here we'll add a little something right and then we'll keep going with the rest of it so for today I will leave you on that I hope I gave you inspiration I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and I hope I made you see that you can create beautiful pieces with really not a lot because this is just vellum paper you could stamp on it um you could like stamp this was stamp you can print on it um and you can rub you know stickers or in this case rub on stickers it really is like this is stamps on a piece of fabric and it's beautiful same thing with this that i showed you earlier before we put it on the page it really i mean this is like I think this is like a organza or something a light fabric with some you know cotton and a seal there's really nothing mysterious about all this just take your pieces and play with them let yourself be inspired and try different things you can't really make a whole lot of mistakes right and it's very little pieces so technically you won't ruin much either and you you will be happy to to realize that you're creating ephemera that will be ready for your next journal like the one that I, I showed you earlier which is this one which is ready for another journal and this is um, something typology put in my you know ephemera packages look how simple it's it's a, this little cutout glued on vellum glued on a piece of paper with another one and another one and there it is it's gorgeous this could have been a flower uh, the effect would just be as beautiful so try things out have fun and uh, so until then I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia Canada I hope you are all happy healthy and safe and on this I say thank you for watching see you soon bye <laughs> bye bye